While things had really been looking up in the world of Journey, even just a few weeks ago, Neil Schoen gave an interview where he revealed that the members of the band had worked out their differences, that ongoing legal battle between him and Jonathan Cain had been squashed, and then just a couple of weeks ago, the shocking news that Cain had filed a new lawsuit against Schoen, accusing him of lavish spending that was actually having an impact, allegedly, on Journey's business. Now Neil Schoen has responded and there's some reporting happening from a recent court hearing related to the lawsuit. Unfortunately, these days, much of the headlines involving Journey have to do with the internal dispute between Jonathan Cain and Neil Schoen. And in late July, Jonathan Cain revived the feud, filing a lawsuit against Neil Schoen, accusing him of lavish spending. This is similar to the dispute that the band members had previously settled. Jonathan Cain's new allegations accused Schoen of maxing out an American Express account to the tune of a whopping $1 million. He also alleges that Schoen's been exceeding a daily hotel fee of $1,500 a night. They claim that he's spending up to $10,000 a night, something Schoen recently responded to. And shockingly, the suit alleges that Journey's finances were stretched so thin that the crew and production company were unable to be paid during their ongoing stadium tour. Kane's lawyers said that the unforeseen strains on cash flow pose a severe threat of harm to the company and to Journey's storied history of musical greatness. And sadly, they say there are internal divided loyalties, crude affections, and just a general atmosphere of tension. And the court filing points out that the situation is now, quote, impacting the band's reputation throughout the music industry. The band's actual onstage performance is, at the moment, one of the only aspects of the business that has not suffered. And as contentious as this Journey feud has been, they have continued performing over the last couple of years, and their performances, from what I have seen, have always been good but it does seem to have an impact on the fans when you know these two guys up on stage are in a very bitter dispute. At times they're not they're not looking at each other, they're kind of ignoring each other. And then we saw, you know, earlier this year and a few weeks ago and months ago they were on better terms, but sadly that is not the case currently. And so we have new details about the court hearing from this new lawsuit as well as a direct response from Neil Schoen. Kane filed the lawsuit in the midst of Journey's stadium tour with Def Leppard, Steve Miller, and Cheap Trick. He's asking for the company to be restructured so they're able to effectively handle financial disagreements between Schoen and Kane. Kane's idea would be for the court to appoint a neutral third party to break the tie votes between Kane and Schoen. And Schoen's attorney is now fired back at the lawsuit, according to reporting from Ultimate Classic Rock. He said, Petitioner's allegations that the company faces imminent irreparable harm from a purported inability of the company to meet its financial obligations has no basis in fact. He said, our client denies that there's been any mismanagement, and he says the only thing causing problems with Journey is the lawsuit filed by Kane. There have also reportedly been petty disputes like whether or not Jonathan Kane could play rhythm guitar during performances of Journey's song Wheel in the Sky. And this has led to a toxic internal environment while the band's out on tour, according to Kane's lawyers. They said, Rather than focusing on the band's performances during a major international tour, the band's business manager, lead vocalist, and crew members now find themselves caught in the middle of the director's disputes, afraid of performing their job responsibilities, and pressured to align with one director or another. The band has lost multiple members of its crew, they claim. And I've met many bands and many crews, and you can see the differences between different camps and things like that. And you meet so many hardworking people in music that a lot of them, they don't want to deal with the headache of members and bands going at each other all the time. And, you know, there's so many people who are well qualified out there. They can just go work for another band that's a much easier crew to deal with. Rather than being subjected to these kind of internal tensions that we've heard about with Journey, and it seems like they're alluding to that happening now within the band, which is very unfortunate. And so Neil Schoen responded to a comment on social media, and he lashed out at somebody who asked him whether or not it was true that he's spending upwards of 10 grand a night on hotels out there on the road. Schoen posted this yesterday. See you in a bit, New York. Don't believe everything you read, except that I'm here to play. This fan commented, 10K a night on hotel rooms? Schoen fired back, BS, and what do you care? I pay for it. 
And as they're pointing out in this suit, it is having an impact on the fans. It's having an impact on their legacy. Is this really how things should change? I hope they're able to resolve this quickly and get back on track as they were only a few short weeks ago. And the dispute at this point is over spending. This should be something that if Neil Schoen is saying it's not even true, well, then they should be able to resolve this very quickly. And it doesn't necessarily have to be something that's dragged out like the other decisions in the past. It is honestly sad and disappointing to see them at this point because of how talented they are as musicians and how much they've accomplished over the years. So hopefully they can put this to rest. It's always sad when you see bands at this point in their career with the legacy that Journey has. Really, it's, it's sort of self-inflicted damage at this point with both parties just constantly going back and forth. So we'll see how it all shakes out. That's your latest update here from Rockfeed. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for the latest news and updates.